Welcome to Aid to the Church in Needs, Where God Weeps, a weekly program dedicated to the situation of the suffering church around the world. The religious conflicts in Nigeria have claimed 10,000 lives in the last four years and destroyed properties worth millions of dollars. Over 300 Christian churches have been destroyed and 250,000 people displaced. It's all a feeling that one religion must be greater than the other. What is the concern of Christians to the introduction of the Sharia law in Nigeria? Christians felt very threatened because they lost so much. Your business was selling drinks or cinema or whatever. The Sharia didn't allow that. Even the mode of dressing and freedom of worship and religion was uh, threatened. So Christians had a reason to be very worried. There are some parts of Nigeria where there is a dominant Islamic uh, regime, which is uh, largely controlled by many of these young men who had studied in Iran, Libya, and in that kind of place, they are trained to see within Islam the, also the element of uh, armed conflict. In September 2004, about 60 members of a Muslim sect known as the Talibans attacked police stations in the towns of Bama and Gwoza, then carried out raids on Christian communities, killing people, raping women, and burning down homes. Over 300 churches have been destroyed. How are Catholics able to live their faith in this context? You can destroy the churches, but you don't destroy the Christian spirit in us. We tell our Christians, stand up for your faith. We encourage our Christians to avoid uh, revenge, to, to avoid violence. We always preach the culture of non-violence. This is what our faith calls us to, to offer the other cheek. If we have to respond in kind, we have to fight and attack and kill, the whole place will be set on fire. I propose the dialogue of life as life crisscrossing. When you touch my life as a Muslim, I touch your life as a Christian, I think something is happening. And I believe that is what can bring more understanding and create an atmosphere of peaceful coexistence.